वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज स्टार कॉन्टिन्यूस नॉलेज एक्सेलेंस माई नेम इज निशा मसरूर वेल दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट वाई पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर बायोलॉजिकल डेटा साइंस एंड फॉर दिस फर्स्टली आई विल गिव यू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आर एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर विपिन सिंह प्रोफेशनल एजुकेटर एंड ट्रेनर सो वॉच एंड टेक द एडवांटेज ऑफ द वीडियो आई बी मीटिंग सोन फर्स्ट ऑफ कोर्स वाई पाइथन right the first uh, important thing is that it is easy to learn and use python is a high level language and it is slightly towards the higher side in the sense that even if you do not know python when you look at a script of python you will be able to understand majorly what it is doing because it is more like an english statement right so as you will go through you'll see that this is uh, very easy and very easy to learn the learning curve is quite easy and uh, also pick up is very easy second Python has a lot of inbuilt programs that can be directly called into your program and they can perform certain functions for you straight away. So these are called as libraries. These are pre-written programs for let's say making graphs, let's say for data analysis. So you have something called Matplotlib, you have uh, <coughs> NumPy, you have Pandas, you have Scikit-learn for machine learning and so on and so forth. So these are pre-written programs that can be directly called into your program and they and the commands in these program can be directly used for the purpose that you want to use them so that makes python uh, uh, quite a preferred language today in biological data analysis alongside uh, the other language that is very popular is r r is a bi statistics based language r and python go side by side if you learn one it is very easy to shift to the other and some of the libraries are written in r some of the libraries are written in python so ideally you should have a equal hand at both so learning one gives you a very easy learning curve for the other as well right then uh, uh, it is versatile reliable and accurate so the python scripts that you write uh, are basically reproducible they can be used as many times and then of course uh, they they are very accurate uh, accuracy will depend on how you write your program and of course that that can be logical errors it can be syntactical errors but otherwise uh, python is very versatile it can be used for many different purposes including biological data analysis so we'll look at uh, that in in, sh in a short while and then of course why it is becoming important for biologists to know programming is because we are into the era of omics right so i'm sure most of you understand what omics is omics is uh, knowing something in complete totality so we have genomics we have proteomics we have uh, transcriptomics you have metabolomics and the data that is getting generated is huge so it is not possible to manually analyze this data anymore there was a time when you could do a phd by just sequencing one gene now you sequence the entire genome you will not still be liable for a phd so that is where we have moved in 20 years of time curtsy next generation sequencing wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks nstc also conducts workshop on amazing topics So, if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in, where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So, just check it out right now. And uh, and other technologies. So, therefore, uh, what we are moving towards is big data and biotechnology. Big data, I understand, and I'm sure you also understand that generally, big data is a term used for social media. so instagram facebook and your you know youtube and it is basically characterized by the velocity and the veracity and the variety of data that is there uh, it is proposed that by 2025 biology will produce data that will be bigger than all social media combined so that is the extent where we are in terms of data generation data generation time has come down very drastically you can now sequence a human genome in half a day something that had taken 10 years to do when we started in 1990 i'm sure uh, some of you are familiar with the human genome project right and then of course uh, what is also happening is that uh, as uh, as everywhere ai artificial intelligence and machine learning is coming to biology also in a big way and therefore again it becomes important that students who are planning to have a research career must have some idea of programming because otherwise it will not be possible to take it too far right so that's the whole idea of this workshop why we are doing python and this is a base level workshop we will be dealing with basic concepts first and then of course we can have a next level workshop where we will deal with more data analytic part 
as we move along, right? So here you are. Uh, now, how to install Python? And then, of course, uh, uh, if you are into a better program, you would have heard these terms, Anaconda, Jupyter Notebook, Collab. So I'll take you through what these are. And then, of course, uh, you can do an installation at the back end. What is good with Python is that Google has come up with something called as Google Collab. So you don't have to install anything. You can directly start working. And we can get straight up into the workshop. Installation part, you can do at back end as your homework, right? So here you are. Python as an interpreted high-level programming language, right? How do you install an Python? Uh, the best way to install Python would be to install it through Anaconda. What is Anaconda? Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of Python and R programming languages for data science and machine learning related to ap related applications. And I'll show you where you have to go to do this. So I'll show you how you can install Anaconda. When you install Anaconda, by default, Python will be installed in your system, right? Then uh, Anaconda also gives you certain other utilities, one of which is Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contain live code, equations, visualizations, etc. So once you create your code in Jupyter Lab Notebook, you can very easily share it with others. And you know it, it gets very easy to, and it also gives you certain functionalities that we'll see as we go along. And uh, counterpart to Jupyter Notebook is what is Google Collab. Google Collab is programming on the cloud, so you don't have to install anything. You're already in a Google space where Python is installed. And you can directly start writing your program. And Google Collab gives you functionalities very similar to Jupyter Notebook. So what we will do for the purpose of the workshop, because it is only four days and we will not want to waste much time on installation and other things. So we start with Google Collab, and towards the end of the workshop, I'll also show you how you can work on your Jupyter Notebook, or for that matter, uh, uh, along with Anaconda installation, you'll also get what is known as a Python integrated development environment, that is known as Spider. So I'll give you a glimpse of the Spider as well, right? So, but today we start with Google Collab. This is the uh, website for Google Collab. You can directly type uh, a Google Collab on your uh, on your search bar, and it should take you to the first step. That will be Google Collab, where you have to register first to make an account, and then we can start programming directly in Python. I hope you like the video. If you want full recording of this video, then contact us at info at the rate nstc.in. Further, if you want to enroll in these type of workshops, then go to the website nanoschool.in where you can easily register in the upcoming amazing workshops. I have given all the links in the description box below. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen. To stay connected.